To be able to generate a QR code, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. In fact, we're going to use a very cool library's name, QR code dot react, all right, which is the link here. And the use is very simple. All you need to do is just uh, import the React and the QR code from this library and then render the QR code and you're gonna pass a value which is the link of that QR code. Very simple. All right, so let's go back to our front end project. Let me quickly close all of those and click on the terminal, pressing Ctrl C to stop the server. And I'm gonna install the library which is npm install uh, QR code dot react. And the version that we're going to use is um, 1.0.1, all right, that's S. Now, it's very important for you to specify the um, specific version. Now, without this, um, you might want to run the latest version, which is uh, fine sometimes, but be careful with that, because sometimes the latest versions might break with what we're doing in here. So I highly recommend stick with the specific version of this course. All right, so when we're done, just uh, run npm start. All right, it's gonna restart again, and that's fine. We, we're going back to our project, and let's create our QR code model component. So we're gonna put it inside the source our component. So right click to component, create a new five, and we're gonna name it like uh, QR code model.js all right so in here first uh, we're going to import the react from react and then import a few things from um, react bootstrap here um, we want to import the model container uh, row and columns and finally let's import the qr code React from QR code dot React. Yeah, that's the one. And then we're going to create our QR code model components. Oops, all right. Be careful with that because we're going to render, then we need to use this bracket. And it's good practice to set the export default right here. Okay, this QR code model. All right. So in here, I'm going to define the um, model. Now for this, for the show, we're gonna execute the show. All right. Now it's good to know that we're gonna pass an object as a parameter to this uh, component. We need to know uh, when, whenever we want to show or hide it and we're gonna pass the uh, on high callback function and the place, okay? And first, I'm gonna uh, create the uh, on high, it's gonna execute the on high function that pass to you from the props. And we're gonna set aside, let's set to large and put it centered, all right, in the screen. And then we're gonna say, model dot body so here for the class name we're going to set to text center and padding top we set it for and then for the container all right so first i'm going to create the header tree we're going to say table qr code and then just create a div now for this, this, we set a class name. It's gonna be margin top, we set it for, and margin bottom for. All right, and then uh, header five. For this one, class name, set to uh, MB0 and MR2, margin right. Okay, so in here, just create the text. For example, uh, the total tables we want to display as a bold tag. And here we need to pass the place dot number of tables. 
All right, now remember that uh, each place had the uh, properties name number of the tables. All right, so for example, your restaurant had 10 tables, then it should be placed 10 here. All right, so that's why uh, for this component, we need to know the place. So that's why we put it as a parameter. We also want to know whenever we want to show or hide it. That's why we're going to pass a parameter, a show parameter. It's going to be true or false. All right, so under this div, I'll just create an, a new row. All right, and inside this row, I'm going to display um, an array of um, the QR code. Now we're going to do that by saying a write dot from. Now this function it comes from JavaScript, all right. So basically, we're going to create an array based on the length of the uh, number of the tables. So the syntax is first inside here we're going to put an object with the property name length. It's going to be uh, place dot number of tables, of course, and then say commas. And we put the underscore, we put it as a uh, parameter. Then we're going to define i plus one. All right, and inside here, we're going to dot map function. All right, you can think of this as a for loop. All right, so let's say if you have the uh, number of tables equal trees, then this one we will going to create a an array of three items. All right, and it's going to loop through every single one of those. And now for this one, uh, we say, hey, if we got the data from table, all right, it's just a name. So we can name it to anything. So to make it it's easy to understand, I'll just name it as table. So for every single one, we want to render. All right, so that's why we're using this curry bracket. So inside here, uh, I'm going to display a column. Now, remember that every time we put the uh, parents component inside the map, we need to assign it for a key with a unique value. So in this term, we say table large, we can say four. And for the medium, we're going to say uh, six. And for the class name, we're going to set it to uh, MB, MB4, right? And down here, we're going to display the QR code, React. All right, now for this one, for the value, I might put another row. Okay, so for the values, uh, we're going to define, we're using a backstick, and it's going to be dollar sign and we're going to pass a value it would be window dot location dot origin all right and then we say menu slot dollar sign and we're going to pass a place dot id slot dollar sign and we're going to pass a table and then for the size we're going to display 200 so basically, the value here, we just uh, we try to define a link, all right, an URL uh, to open this uh, menu with a place ID and with table. Uh, we're going back to this in a bit, so don't worry. But for now, we can think of it like uh, we just uh, display a um, URLs, all right, something like uh, HTTP ads, for example, uh, slash localhost three thousand. So this part come from window location origin. All right, three thousand slot menu slot and the place ID. Let's say uh, one and the table, which is the uh, table two, for example. So basically, this one is going to create a value of the URL with this format. All right, because uh, in later step, when you open this URL, it will open the digital menu. So that's why customer can go directly to this URL to open the digital menu. Okay, he's safe. Now next, we're going to our uh, source pages and place dot JS. Okay, so up here uh, we're going to import the uh, AI 
light qr here we go qr code all right we're going to import that once and down here let's import the uh, qr code qr code model from components qr code model okay so uh, down here i'm going to create another uh, state variable it's going to be show qr oh no maybe just a qr code for example set qr code all right and we're going to set use state now uh, the default value we're going to set to false and i'm going to create another uh, constant sorry another function named show uh, qr model all right let's name it like that and here we simply set a qr code we set it true all right and another one say hi qr model then we're going to set this one to false all right qr code then let's go scroll a bit down to the uh, render session. So inside our column 12, now let's just say down here. Okay, I'm going to close this one. So down here, I'm going to create a button. The variant, variant. We set to link and for the on click we're gonna say show qr model and inside this one we just display a outline qr code icon right uh, for the side we set to uh, 25 all right hit save uh line 26 we got a typo 26 Yep, my bad. All right, he's safe. Seem to be all right. Now let's scroll on down, way down. Maybe I'll just uh, put it um, right under the model. Oops. Yeah, okay. Then I'm going to display the uh, QR code model. So in here first, for the show props, I'm going to pass the uh, QR code. I think this one QR code and for on height props function we're gonna execute the height QR model and for the place we're gonna pass the place all right and we're gonna add the centered attribute all right so that's why like I mentioned before in the QR code model uh, we need to pass an object including the show variable on height uh, props function and the place all right, that's why we're gonna pass it here. Okay, so moment of truth, let's go back to our place. And here we can see that uh, button, which we defined um, in here, which is defined button like this. So uh, if you click on this one, hey, it's gonna open the uh, show QR code model click outside it, it's going to execute on high function. Now click on here. Um, I don't seem to see the QR code displaying here. So let's go back here and see what went wrong. Okay, so in here, let's go to our QR code model and see why we can't get it right. Okay, so I can see here I got a typo th. So that's why it can't get the uh, number of table correctly. All right, he's safe. Now, if you go back in here, and here we go. So it's gonna display a QR code for the table one. Because uh, these KFC plates have only one um, table, if you want, you can go into places and go in KFC, and let's change this one to maybe three. Hit save. And now go back to this one and refresh. And now if you click on this, Hey, it's going to display three different QR codes for three different links. 
all right for table one table two and table three awesome if you click outside of it it's going to execute the on high callback function to hide the model um, i'm going to fix this one a little bit so let's go back to our place and inside this div this one seems to be okay so i might put the um, justify content between all right and we set the much button to four all right hit save go back here there you go so basically I just uh, increase the margin bottom and put this one in between all right okay so that's about it in the next lesson we're going to add a two buttons um, to increase the uh, table and or decrease the table number here I'll see you then